Let's talk about Mac OS Monterey new feature, Erase Content and Setting. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. So there are a variety of reasons why you may want to start fresh on your computer. Having a fresh operating system installed generally sometimes solves a lot of the problems that you have with the OS before, or you're just trying to sell your machine and you don't want any of your data, login accounts and everything to be compromised by the next owner. All of these reasons and many more makes perfect sense. In the previous Mac OS, it's not quite as easy to do, meaning that you have to know what you're doing. You have to be somewhat familiar with the operating system. And for those of you that are familiar with it, the process is not quite as difficult. But with Mac OS Monterey and specifically with these new M1 Pro and M1 Max processor, but this also extends to the other machine that Apple has as well, you can now really go in and do an erase content and setting, very similar to what you would do in iOS devices. This makes your computer really secure, the OS is fresh and is ready for the new owner or whoever you're handing your computer to. So to do that, I want to make this quick guide. What you would simply do is click on the Apple and go into System Preferences. Once that launched, click on the System Preferences menu and then click on Erase All Content and Setting. It will ask for the computer password, so you will have to type that in. From there, it will tell you all these things that it is removing from the setting. For example, for me, it's removing the Touch ID and also the accessories. For example, if I have any mouse or keyboard pair, it just removes it from the system. And I think this makes the whole process much easier and much cleaner. And you can also ensure that all of your sensitive data is being removed from the system before you hand it off to someone else. From here, you would simply click on continue and it will ask you to confirm you want to erase all content and setting. We want to do that, so I will click on erase all content and setting there. And this is the part where we would give the machine some time because it's going to remove all the user data that I have on this machine and start out fresh. So we'll give this a moment here. The system does a restart and it will come up. We'll speed some videos up in certain portions just so that this can go through much faster. Another thing I want to caution you as well is that on these new M1 Pro and M1 Max processor, if you have gone in to erase the current installation and let's say you create a container, you install a new OS on there, it's considered a unsecure installation. So there's a lot of things that the firmware on the computer itself would do. For example, it would force a reboot. It would do the authentication of the OS again if you have done a manual install that way. So using the erase content and setting is definitely one way to go. And now you're seeing the Apple logo, very similar to what you're seeing in iOS. So we'll see what happens here. And then, like I said, we'll speed the video up. We'll come back when this is done and ready to go. So as you can see there, it didn't really take that long at all to process. Now is that the language screen is asking me to pick. I want to kind of go partially through this process. We're not going to set up this computer again, but let's see what it does. So you pick the language and it's going to activate your Mac first. This is going to take a moment. So number one, you're going to need Wi-Fi access. So we are going to sign on to a Wi-Fi network. Join in on the Wi-Fi and this is now going to start the activation process again. These does take a few moments. It's not too long. I mean, this shouldn't take 30 minutes or anything like that at all. It's probably maybe about a minute to activate the machine with Apple server. Once that is done, then it will probably do a restart again and show you the hello scene, welcoming you to the new machine. All right, so Mac, Mac is activated. It's going to need a restart. Let's do the restart now. And as you can see, the process is extremely quick. Now I'm at the hello, and I can certainly click on get started to which it will set this up for the new owner, whoever may have this machine, and it makes erasing the content super quick and super secure on these computers. Now, the other thing that you can do right now is you can certainly close the lid or power off the computer and getting this ready for the next owner or whoever you may be giving this computer to. Anyway, I hope that you find this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit on the bell if you're new. And remember, in our we trust.